Hi guys, super soup here. This is why I'm leaving Twitch. I'm not gonna beat around the bush or spend a lot of time making a big song and dance about it because that's not what I want to do. Um, basically, quick recap over the last six months we've been playing FPS games, started off Call of Duty, moved to Apex now, and it's just games I absolutely love playing and I love creating content on. The only issue for me is that there's just no discoverability at all. Um, going live for me every single day is essentially a waste of time. Um, I'm vibing with the people that I speak to in Discord anyway. I'm not really getting many new people. And I totally understand that is on me. Um, I've been doing the bare minimum on TikTok and Twitter and stuff like that for a good few months now. So that is 100% on me for that kind of thing. Um, but going live is just not having my channel whatsoever. It's not doing anything for me in terms of content creation. The only thing that is giving me is money. And you guys know since day one, I've never been about that. In fact, I've actively discouraged um, any donations or anything like that. Um, I do love content creation. I will keep on doing it. Um, my main focus now is going to be YouTube. Um, I'm going to spend those hours that I would be going live on an evening, creating YouTube content. Um, maybe do a couple of streams on YouTube in the future, perhaps. I think I will still do a couple of streams on Twitch every now and then if there's like a reason to, for example, like a new Apex season or I just want to kick it with the homies and just have fun, maybe like drinking streams or something. Like this isn't the total cut off and the end of Twitch, but in regards to like a scheduled thing, you know, a, a schedule of 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. every day, that's not going to be the case anymore because it is just a waste of time. We're not going anywhere doing that. I've got to switch this up. Um, might even try and do a few lives on TikTok, a few lives on YouTube, like I said. Try to use this time a bit more efficiently to grow myself as a content kind of creator across all platforms instead of spreading myself very thin and also giving, you know, 16 to 20 hours a week on Twitch as well, which is, as I said, just taking us nowhere. And the people that are, are in the streams, obviously I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. But at the same time, I kick it with you guys in Discord anyway, so we catch up regardless. Um, and I'll still be putting content on YouTube and stuff like that. There will be more gameplay stuff because obviously I'm not, not, not putting the gameplay on Twitch. But my main focus now is just A, mental health. This isn't really like a mental health thing, if I'm honest. Um, I've been thinking this for a while. It's not like numbers have dipped suddenly and it's kind of, you know, it's all getting to me and this is a rash decision. This is something that I spoke about for a little while in my own head to myself and to a couple of close friends as well. Um, but the direction that I want to go now is just to really sort of focus on creating good, wholesome content that's on demand as well. So that that allows me to also take breaks as well, because I'm finding myself when I'm on a stream day, just pretty much counting down the hours till 6 p.m. Um, and then those those four hours after that are wasted. I'm going to be able to have my evenings back. I'm going to be able to plan and schedule content, for example, like, you know, take holidays and stuff. I can enjoy the Euros. I can enjoy football. I can enjoy going out. And it's just all about the whole project for me. Um, YouTube is giving me good growth now. We're not too far away from partner on there. Um, so, so, so with YouTube sort of pushing my content and giving me that good exposure, the same thing with TikTok and stuff like that. <clears throat> I think it would be silly for me to not focus on those apps and those, uh, those medias. So that's kind of where we're going to go with it. Um, Twitch is not dead and buried, but there just won't be any scheduled streams. I might do some pop-up streams or if there's like the new Apex season, etc., etc big events and all that kind of thing maybe like it could a couple of charity streams or something like that i'll probably still stream uh the marathon which i'm planning to do like this year as well um also in terms of like am i going anywhere absolutely not um i still love this like no end i don't get me wrong as well i love streaming and with all my heart but i just don't think it's a good decision to continue streaming But I just don't think it's a good decision. Yeah. I just don't think it's a good decision to continue streaming without growth. Um, we're not getting pushed on the Twitch page anymore. Um, we're seeing maybe like less than one follower a stream. So really just not worth it in terms of that. Um, 
and it's essentially a waste of time. Um, so I will continue to use my time a bit more efficiently and I will just have a little bit more freedom. Um, <clears throat> obviously, it's quite emotional because Twitch has been a huge part of my life for a long time. It's, it's not an easy decision to make. Um, but I just want to say thank you to everyone that's Thank you to everyone that's been there since the start and have come on board since and just done amazing things. I have some incredible memories on Twitch and I will honestly, honestly never forget them. Um, yeah, I will carry those memories forever um, and hopefully in the future. Um, so the, the plan is obviously to continue streaming at some point in the future but for now i think we just need to focus on growth for, on platforms that are giving us that growth um just use my time a bit more efficiently um still gonna be active the discord's staying up we still have the minecraft server we're still playing games um i'm just gonna be creating more content on youtube twitch and not twitch and tiktok and stuff like that um and i honestly believe as well that in a few years time there will be an all-in-one platform and i think youtube is the closest for that as well um if you watch this all the way through then thank you you know you you're probably one of those people who gives a shit um i give you support um subscribe to the youtube i guess because there's gonna be a lot more content there you can join us in the, the discord and stuff like that which is where i'm gonna be most of the time still gonna be kicking it in streams probably actually more streams than ever now because i'm gonna be a bit more free on the evenings um yeah i'm just gonna wear uh, Cracking my life, cracking my YouTube. Um, I'll still be on Twitter and stuff like that. The only thing that's going to change is there's just going to be a lot less Twitch streams, if any. So, thank you guys for your support. Appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I've said that since day one. I genuinely everything that you've ever done for me, whether that's like a tweet, even throw up a lurk on the channel, you know, like the YouTube video. It honestly, means the world to me. And I love content creation. And one day. I fully intend to come back to streaming full time. That's still the dream. That's still the goal. This is how we're going to move. Hopefully this is a good decision. I don't know. Maybe we'll watch this video in a year's time. I think it was a fucking ass decision. Or that was a great decision. Who knows? Anyway, I said I didn't want to drag this time. It's been almost eight minutes. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your appreciation. Uh, come on, England. It's coming home. <laughs>